Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerBoxingNews.com. Today is October the 5th, 2012. Here are the boxing stories that are on my mind. But before I continue, just remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. First, let me clear up a big misperception. Amir Khan apparently is fighting Carlos Molina. But it's not the same Carlos Molina who was beating James Kirkland before a freak ending who many people, myself included, believe beat Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. at least once. An argument can be made he beat him twice, but certainly he beat him in the first fight, right? The, er the Carlos Molina who fought to a draw against Eris Landy Lara, in other words, the Carlos Molina fighting elite competition at 154 pounds is not the Carlos Molina who is going to be fighting Amir Khan. Okay, so whatever lines that Vegas releases for that fight, you need to do your homework. You need to look at films of that Carlos Molina. The Molina fighting Amir Khan is unbeaten. But we don't go by records here. We go by styles. And while I can vouch for the Carlos Molina at 154 pounds as being an elite fighter, I don't know enough about the guy fighting Amir Khan at this point to vouch one way or the other. Right? I'll try to find out more about him. Just know he's not the same guy. He's a different fighter. Right? And so... The lines that might look attractive might not be once you actually see the guys who are fighting. That's the first thing. The second thing, Audley Harrison, David Price. Audley Harrison is making the claim that he has sparred with guys who, quite frankly, might be better than David Price, right? He has sparred extensively with DeAndre Wilder, who is an unbeaten fighter, who hits as hard as practically anyone in boxing. If you don't know, none of Wilder's fights have gone the distance. Wilder's right hand, at least against the level of competition he's fighting right now, and let's just say, that level is not going to be confused with the Klitschko brothers or David Hay, right? But the guys he's fighting right now are completely overpowered by Wilder, who has one-punch knockout power. Right, certainly, I can't say here that David Price hits harder than Wilder, right? Wilder is an outsized puncher. He's on my radar. I have questions about his defense right now. I have no questions about his punching ability. So Wadley Harrison is claiming that he's been cracked by Wilder and he's been able to stand up to Wilder's power. So he's not afraid about David Price's power. Let me just say, what nonsense. Let me make a few points. First, the biggest hurdle Audley Harrison has in this fight, why I believe the fight is going to be uncompetitive, is Audley Harrison's complete lack of foot speed. The man can't move. If David Price just wants to win the fight on his back foot, he can come in, he has long arms, he can stick a jab, and he can just move around the ring, right? It's not David Price's power that Harrison should be most worried about. It's David Price's mobility, his foot speed. Audley Harrison can't keep up. He can barely move. Legs are the first to go. Harrison wasn't that <clears throat> fast, foot speed-wise, in his 20s. Now, at an advanced age, he's really slow, right? David Price can move. David Price, if he wants, can win the fight from the outside. Now let's talk about power. You know, let me just say that the punches that hurt you the most are the ones you're unprepared for, where you're moving and you get hit. Right? The guys who can move and throw heavy leather, 
They will catch opponents by surprise when opponents aren't ready. You know, when opponents are moving to try to catch up with them. They'll catch you. They'll hurt you. Right? It's when you're not prepared for the punch that you get hurt the most. Now, Deontay Wilder is a guy who, quite frankly, in sparring, I doubt is moving as much as David Price will move against Audley Harrison, right? Because the movement is Price's competitive advantage. One of the secrets to David Hay is the element of surprise with his punches. He moves very well, and he can then leap in like he did against Nikolai Valuev. Just leap in and hit you with a punch when you're not ready. It's not just the force of the punch. And Hay, of course, has a very big punch. But it's also the element of surprise. So if Audley Harrison is standing there, knows that DeAndre Wilder is going to throw a right hand and is able to take the punch and remain standing, that doesn't tell me as much as if Wilder's on his back foot or moving around the ring. Harrison has to move forward and then gets caught, then gets hurt, when he's not expecting it. I think it's still an open question on whether Harrison can take Price's power because Price's power is going to be mobile power, right? The fact that Harrison has fought with some pretty good sparring partners and has gotten hit hard by those sparring partners really isn't encouraging news to me. First of all, what does that say about Harrison's defense? Second, the fact that he got hit by DeAndre Wilder and was still standing doesn't mean that he's going to be able to still be standing in a real fight against a moving opponent. So let's just say I'm expecting that Harrison Price fight to be one-sided. You know, David Price really should come in, should move, should force Harrison to come to him and then should really start off of the jab. Everything should work off of the jab. Off of the jab, then he can start throwing the big punches. Okay? Let me also say this, too, about Wilder, and I don't say it lightly. Wilder's been fighting guys like Owen Beck, uh, Kirkston uh, Manswell, the guy who remains to Vern, knocked out. Right? Understand Owen Beck has been a victim of spectacular knockouts, too, in the past. You know, fighting the best locally is so different than fighting the best globally that, you know, I'm not really sure you can look at a fighter's local record and then extrapolate that he's going to be able to do big things against world-class opponents, right? The uh, problem Wilder's going to have is he's going to have to step up his competition and he's going to have to start fighting guys who actually have the skills to avoid his right hand. At this point, he hasn't. The Manswell fight, he takes him out in the first round. What's Manswell doing? Getting hit with a right hand in the very first round of that fight. That's laughable. You know, especially when <laughs> Manswell already was knocked out by a right hand by Stavern, and I believe the second round or some early round like that. You know, I'd have had more respect for him, quite frankly, if he was in a defensive shell at least for a few rounds, given that Wilder hasn't gone deep in fights too often. Force Wilder to fight several rounds. Find out if he's going to tire out like Foreman did in the Rumble in the Jungle against Ali, right? And so Wilder is an intriguing prospect. No question about it. But before we put a crown on his head, let's at least see him against the Chris Ariolas and the Thomas Ademics of the world, right? Before we start fantasizing about him against Adlener Solis, the Klitschko brothers, or David Hay, okay? Trying to limit these videos to 10 minutes. My 10 minutes are up. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Yes, I am expecting a one-sided fight. Hey, 
excuse me, David Price, Hayes' former sparring partner, ironically, David Price to literally be far too mobile for Audley Harrison, right? Price is a fool if he gives up his mobility and tries to slug it out with Harrison. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com and dwyerboxingnews.com. Thanks for watching.